Hey, this is Digital by Computing. We're gonna go through the steps on how to manage and edit and configure your Apple Airport Express or Apple Airport Extreme through a Windows computer. Now you do know that it is a Apple wireless router, very similar to any other wireless router out there by many other brands such as Netgear, D-Link, Billion, etc. The Apple ones are super cool, they look really good and they have a whole ton of features and a lot of people don't realize that you can actually edit it and manage it from a Windows computer. You don't even need a Mac, you don't need an iOS device to use a Apple wireless router. You can do it straight through Windows. So let's go through the steps on how to do from that. From your Windows computer, we can actually access your airports directly. Uh, you need to download this software from the Apple website. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open up a browser and we are going to look for airport utility for Windows. It will send you to the website just here. 5.6.1, which is the latest at the time of this recording. And you go and download that installer. So download that installer. We're not gonna go through the steps on how to install it, but very easy. You download the installer, you follow some steps. All right, it's gonna go and download it. You install it. And then once it's been installed, you'll have this airport set up. All right. You go through the guide, All right? I've already got it installed, but you just follow the prompts. So it should find it. In my case, it's found my Airport Extreme, and if I click on Continue or Manual Setup, I'm prompted for my Airport Extreme um, password. This is the same for your Airport Express. So let's just go ahead and just put in my password. And there you see, I've got full access to my Airport Extreme. I can manage it exactly the same that I, as I um, can do it through another device. If for whatever reason your Airport doesn't show up, make sure that the Windows computer is on the wireless network in the first place and is connected and it can see the Airport Extreme. You can also run a cable straight into the back of it. You can do a rescan to rescan your network and see if you can refind your Airport Express or Extreme nice and easy. And from here you can control everything as you would normally and do a restart, update the firmware, um, go and configure all your wireless clients, your passwords, all that sort of stuff. So that is the steps. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel Digital by Computing just on the button there for more videos.